what's up guys? My name is Bill. Welcome to Cars At Last. I've got a little bit of bad news I wanted to share today on a project that I've been doing that's not going well and I feel that it's really important to share it with you guys. I know I've put some videos out there about my truck and some of the work that we've been doing on it including spraying bed liner on my rocker panels and inside the bed. I did it on the grill as well in the back bumper. And I had a couple people ask me, you know, how's, how's it lasting? How's it going? And I uh, wanted to share that with you. I think it's important that I get this out there. Um, you know, I'm, I am not a mechanic. I enjoy doing this stuff. I put this stuff on YouTube. I like to do projects. Um, I've had some, you know, some good successes with projects. This is one that's not turning out to be a success. Uh, again, I really want to just share this with you. Um, it's about the spray and bed liner. Um, this is the U-Pole Raptor bed liner kit. Maybe you've seen it in some of my videos. And I actually called U-Pole today and I talked with their representative. Um, he was a very nice guy, super helpful. He gave me some tips. Um, but my bed liner is not going well. <laughs> and I'm going to show, what, show you what that looks like in the video. And then we'll also take a look at how the uh, rocker panels are going and uh, some of the spray on on the plastic products. Um, and then I'll also share some tips with you on you know, what to do if you're going to do this project. So let's take a look. Here's what it looks like today. I have been doing some projects with my truck, which is the purpose for my truck, obviously. Um, and I still have some dirt in there and some, some mulch. Um, but you can see over here, my beautiful bed liner is not going well. Now, for um, a couple different things. You know, first of all, let me just show you what's happening. Is it's just, it's just like plastic peeling off. You know, I can just peel this off with my fingernails. I actually got a lot of this off even just with the, um, with my pressure washer, which is a good thing. Because this is going to be a really sucky project, and I can't tell you how disappointed I am. Um, you can just see it just flaking right off there. I've got some, what happened was, you know, right up here, this is all just complete. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's wonderful. God. Oh, man. That's going to be a few Sundays, huh? Um, so not so good. Not only that, but... You know, like I said, I use my, I actually use my truck for work and projects, um, and this is the result. You know, this was bare metal. It came down to bare metal on the on the bed, and I thought, you know, hey, just let's put some bed liner over it, and it'll just stick there. Um, but apparently, it doesn't do that. And when I take my shovel, a metal shovel, that'll just scrape right off, so it didn't stick. So, what you pull has said is, and I don't blame, I want to be very clear, I am not blaming U-Pole by any means. Um, you know, they did say there were instructions in the kit. I don't recall seeing, you know, information about prepping the bed or anything like that. I'm not saying that it wasn't in there. I know I was in a hurry. I wanted to get this done. And my point is, you know, for doing this project, certainly don't be in a hurry. You know, I had just one weekend to get this done, and I was doing it as a father-son project, and just, uh, you know, just ran out of time. I wanted to get everything sprayed. Um, you know, we had some rain coming, and I wanted to make sure it was, you know, I got it done. So this is the result of that. Hopefully you guys can learn from my mistake, and I wanted to share that with you. So let me share some information with you on what to do if you are going to do this project. This is directly from you, Paul. By all means, Call you pull if you have any questions on it before you even buy the product or look at their videos. Um, I know there's probably some videos on there too. I looked at some YouTube videos. I can't say I looked at theirs, um, but you know definitely be helpful. So first thing is if you're gonna if you're gonna work with paint, um, he said make sure you know right here on these surfaces make sure you're working with 80 grit sandpaper and you're gonna have to sand all this first. Um, now I'm not exactly sure how much you should sand it, so you want to uh, take a look at that. Um, for the plastic, he suggested, and we'll take a look, this is plastic right up on top here. Plastic surface obviously right here on top of my, this is my bumper cover, um, and I did see just a little bit of plastic chipping off of here. Close that up. You can see 
um, right under, underneath here. It, this is chipping. Um, but you want to also, um, he suggested using some 180 grit sandpaper. And then once you're done sanding, put on a, an epoxy primer. They've got some primer products. You know, make sure you put that on first before you put the bed liner on. He also said there's a primer. If you get into the bare metal, um, to put the primer down first and then spray the bed. So I missed those steps. And unfortunately, you know, it's going to cost me a lot more time now to try to fix this. And I think I'll probably have to, you know, spend some time. I'm going to pressure wash it first and then... Um, you can see it didn't stick up here. He also suggested when you are, um, you know, when you're spraying, just make sure it dries really well. The instructions said to let it dry for like 15 to 30 minutes. And he suggested, you know, let it dry for an hour before you put on the next coat so make sure it's good and hard. So let's take a look and see how the rest of the truck looks. You know, I did, I did my rockers. Um, you know, this is, this survived the winter. It's fairly good. I've got a chip here. You know, I've got some a couple chips here. This is actually my pressure washer. Pop those off. So um, my plastic, this worked out okay so far. I don't see any issues with that. I do see, you know, there's a couple chips in here. I should be a little bit slower. I got a little bit of dirt on there too. Um, I did try to wash it. And then, you know, this looks still looks pretty good here. Um, I do have a little bit of chipping right here. Now this actually, right here, my tire was too big uh, when I was turning, and I've got to get this trimmed off a little bit, so that'll be a project. Um, but you can see it chipped off right there, and I think that's from the rubbing of the tire. But the plastic on the front bumper cover is still holding up well. On the grill, it's still holding up well. Again, there is a primer to use for plastic. So make sure, like I said, don't do what I did. Talk to Upol, um, look at their videos. You know, make sure you do your homework before you get into this project. Um, plan for it being twice as long as you know um, than you anticipated. So, and then this side, the same thing on this side is, you know, it held up well. I've actually got this interesting separation where the plastic is plastic moved a little bit so other than that you can see like underneath the rockers this is uh that's back you know that's bare metal right there this was actually that was sprayed so I've got gravel just chipping away at that so anyways I hope that helps that's what it's looking like today I like doing this stuff um, I feel it's important that I share with you some updates of how the projects go. This one, unfortunately, has not gone as well as I had hoped. And, um, you know, stay tuned for more information. I might make another video as we get further along into it. Obviously, it's going to take some time to redo that bed. That'll be a lot of fun. But uh, maybe I can learn some tips and how to do that. Because I know I'm not alone on this. And uh, hopefully, you guys don't go through what I'm going through right now. So... Anyways, thanks so much for watching. My subscribers, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've got more videos coming your way. Consider subscribing if you like, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.